Alright, have a potentially uh, cursed submission here. <clears throat> My apologies, I'm sick right now. So it's Soul Guard with Primitive Molds. Not necessarily that good of a combo. Um, it's taken both players out, so we'll take a look here. I will blame if I lose on my sickness and not any lack of skill or anything like that. Uh, Sin of Darkness. It's been actually quite a while since I've seen that Urkus, I feel. Um, <coughs> so it's a patient. Usually not too bad in this combo. Starters are not great. Uh, Howl Drippings is alright. Pusher Talos is tough. Yeah, you don't want to see Cold Channel in this combo, but what are you going to do? Certainly not take a Dire Channel. Uh, I don't necessarily mind the sketches. Especially with double Stygian. Well, triple Stygian, actually. Very, very likely to have sketches work out here. No stealth on that Talos. Yeah, I think we could work with this. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's unlikely that I can do this with sketches, but we'll see. You never know. I mean, I have primitive mold, so maybe. If I can get a ping. Probably go cold channel top, but it's probably going to die, but that's okay. Ooh, that's actually pretty good there. We got the uh, dude in back. Um, I probably want to keep... Uh, do I want to keep Soul Guard alive? I don't think I do. I think I want it coming back. That's why Titan Scrat is not good with uh, Forgotten Powers, so... There ain't nothing I can do there. Alright, you're dead. Um, I don't mind doing this. Let's start with Soul Guard, I guess. We're never going to need all of our embers, so... Fifty-fifty. I guess I lied about not needing my ember. It's okay, though. Man, horrible primitive mold uh, RNG. Like, absolute dog shit. We're better off doing it in the front. I'll go for another 50-50 here, I think. Oh, I don't need to. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, we got through it. Glacial Seal unironically carrying the shit out of that. Um, I think we would definitely take the Flash Freeze here. As I said, we have this Wax or Snuffer, and if I do end up ne needing to use, like, Tombs or something, we're gonna want that. Okay, this is an interesting one. Um... I don't mind the drip fall. My thought is I can actually drip fall Soul Guard down to the main floor and then just hit it with one flash freeze and it can sit in the back just doing AoE. It's honestly not that bad. Of course, draft is draft, but I think with sketches and I'm planning on hitting Stitch and stuff, probably drip fall. Hopefully, we get a unit draft as well. Endless. Ten. Eight. 
10 and Pierce. I could go... I don't know. Alright, we do want the Nameless Siren. That is definitely one of our sketches hits. That's pretty good. Starts with 10 health is the only downside here. But... That's okay. I'm hoping to intrinsic the drip foam. I don't know that I want to add these shards. Or spell chain anything. For now, we'll just do this. I do want the unit draft. Toughest boss, though. Toughest troop. Uh, not necessarily the toughest troop. I'm going to not play this this time. Horrible RNG as per usual. Shouldn't have uh, actually done that, but whatever. All right. <clears throat> These are pretty bad. Um, I could take the energy siphon because it's a incant card. Mind purifying cleanse. Okay, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good essence for our nameless siren. I think we're good to go there. Probably actually go left then. I don't really need to take, I just need to hit hell vents. I don't know. I mean, I've already got my unit my stuff here, so maybe just uh, maybe just see Primer Frost and hmm could be another Calcified Ember run but it is Pusher Talos this is not necessarily easy. Hmm. So we'd be weakening our deck a bit. Oh! Man. This might be a skip. Like, I don't really see how Abandoned Stave helps this deck. It's just never going to need Ember. And it just adds two junk to the pile. But this adds three junk to the pile. I don't know, man. But once... If I can get through this, then this is good. It's three free incants. But it's not like that good. There's no up. It's not like we're playing Wormkin where there's a bunch of upside with it. I haven't taken any pyro damage yet. But I don't know. We could get a bad sketches pull. And, and honestly, I could fight haste ring four. I think it's just a skip, unfortunately. Pretty pretty sucky. Eh, I think Sludge could be okay. I mean, 
As it stands, I have to hell vent. You know, once, twice, three times. The hell vents are pretty good location. Am I hitting any other merchant of steels? Final one. I think we could take the big sludge. I should have checked this before the cavern, I think. If I had, a, if I had known I had a big sludge, then I probably could take the ember, calcified ember. I don't think I'm going to take it, though. I don't think this is worth me re-rolling, but I also am not going to need money. So, just another cost reduction is fine. Both of those being strong will definitely help if I have to fight face uh, haste ring four. This will also help with the removals. Just having this. Okay, that's a really good... Uh, I mean, we didn't get the guard in front, but this is still, like, pretty good. Right, let's put you here. Do I care about Hall of Drippings? Probably don't really care that much about it. I really focus on this floor. Oh, I didn't put any in Cancer. That's not the best. Please don't one out of three me. It one out of three'd me again. That hurts a lot. Cause now I might lose uh what's her name? Hmm. Well deck thins out pretty well. I think here I could Is eight. <clears throat> We're just going to take that damage. Alright, let's move... I could just move Nameless Siren down. It's only one day, or I could move... Like, I, I think we do want to keep her alive here. And I can just take the pyre damage. As unfortunate as it is. Hopefully we draw back to a Purifying Cleanse. I don't want to, like, make Solgar die. Talos, she's probably going to die, though, anyway. Talos is coming down there, so... Let's just get... Uh, all of this going. Yeah. Well... It is what it is. Just gotta make sure that we get enough uh, damage up there. Or not frostbite on Talos. You can get Glacial Seal. Looks like we're killing here. Alright, we got through that one. A little awkward, but... That's how it is. Uh, not feeling really any of these. I mean, I could take the Siren Song as like a patient counter. 
but obviously I can't like I don't know I think I think trip fall is gonna be good enough there Ooh, change of plans change of motherfucking plans all right well this will go into the uh, nameless siren now um I do have a little bit of a problem um if this is haste you know we don't want to go down to four units necessarily but I think cold channel can actually hold its own there either way though I have to hit these hell vents so I'm not hitting this Unstable Vortex. I'm just thinking, like, even it, yeah, if I put the Lodestone, I can still play it at 3 Ember. So I don't think I'd take an Ember upgrade. Just take a draw. Alright, so we're going to go Lodestone into Nameless Siren. Part of me kind of wishes I didn't get offered that, but of course I'm going to take it. I think we still do this. I'm already giving Party Boy multi-strike anyway, so... Don't think we need a minus two anything, though. It is party boy, but it's not haste, so that's pretty good. Okay, good spawn there. Let's get this popping. I don't think I, I'm just doing that for the future. Like on this fight, I definitely want Soul Guard down here. So uh, don't think we care about the hell of drippings, right? This is a really good spawn. Alright, let's do that. Is that guy seriously not dying? I'm not putting too many incants there. I actually could have prevented his resolve if I uh, didn't extend the burnout. Oh well. Alright, let's fuck this guy up. I of course draw two dead weights in a unit this turn, but okay. Despite the horrible RNG, we still destroy him. <clears throat> I don't know that we need to be adding these. I will hit that magic. I will hit that magic. But that is like... I don't know. I don't think so. Definitely not adding those. <clears throat> All right, this is a much better node. Now there's no haste, so we can... Uh, we can uh, do stuff to our heart's content here. So, dupe that. I may self-infuse uh, Steward here be, to just accelerate my... Uh,
yeah, just to accelerate how fast I can get these removed. I know we're going pretty hard in shards here, but I really want to maximize my chances of getting uh, the good stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, we are not going to risk that. Not on this troop. Alright, we got... Uh, wow, so incredible of a uh, thing. Now for this fight, I think we do this this plan. I know I'll Ember Drain here, but that's fine. Eventually I'll have the uh, thing in the back. Wow, how many one out of threes am I going to lose there, huh? That would be taking some damage up there. I don't necessarily have to. Alright, let's do that. Uh, we don't care about our reform pool, so let's do this. Don't need to hit my dude again. Let's just uh, prevent some damage here. I need to make this zero cost because then I could actually usefully seal. But seal's coming out eventually. Another one out of three. Wild. Uh, Urchin Spine's fine. Sacred Wix is fine. So is Wickless Recruitment, especially into a uh, patient. I'll take that instead. I can just remove my burnout as well. That's pretty good. So this is where Agent Ganon went down. Ten and permafrost. All right, let's get rid of this, this, and then I'll remove. Um, well, I don't need to remove uh, Guard of the Unnamed. Honestly, I probably should accept Kalisha Shield, if I'm being honest. But we got our four units now. Uh, Eventually, I replaced Guard of the Unnamed at the last Hellvent, but I don't need to remove it now. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really need the money. Let's make that zero. Can make that heal for more, but it's not a whole lot for me to do beyond that. Remove Consume. I could do that on Hallowed Drippings if I want to keep using my heal, uh, which honestly I may want to. I actually think that's okay. And if I lose a unit, I can just, like, put it somewhere. Um, I could put another 10 there. That's fine. I don't need to hold, I don't need to, like, hold it over or anything. Rally. Wait. Oh, right. I was like, for some reason, I, th I was thinking that I had the guard of the uh, 
the um, guard of the unnamed in. I was like, wait, why am I starting with 10 health? Oh, that's right. They will have an incant shard. Is it just me, or did I never see the uh, purifying cleanse? Did I just like, completely miss it? Must have. Alright, time to sap the hell out of this guy. Fine. Yeah. Definitely don't want wax and spike. Uh, we don't want any of these. Not even gonna look at it. I am so freaking strong. Like, there's nothing that can beat me. I'm unbeatable at this point. Alright, hold over. I don't need to hold any of this over, but. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think anything needs to be held over. Alright, we need to just get rid of these. Like all of them. I'll have one more vortex coming up, so I can leave one of or the two of them. Because eventually I'm taking out the uh, Titan's Grat. Let's just remove one more of these. I also need to remove the unit. Definitely don't want a Titan channel it, or else we can't do our play at the start. Spikes is... Man, I hate spikes. I fucking hate them. That'd be 10 damage to me. Can I incant 5 times a turn? I don't know that I can. I mean, I get 7 cards a turn, but... I still have the double of Titan's Grad. I have 1 for Gone Power. That seems like a good way to die. And and they're gonna be, you know, fucking... I, I, we'll, we'll be putting a cold channel on the bottom. Spikes is just the most untakeable trial in, at, in the, at this ring. I've, I'm adamant on it. I'm just gonna do this. And... For now... This, but we do need to encant that other floor eventually here. I definitely want that to die. It's uh, annoying, but it's the penitent for you. All right, they're dying.
definitely was right not to take spikes so you can see just how bad I am at uh, being able to deal with this you know I would have had my whole floor dead I guess I can cast it on enemy so I could have actually used this I, I never have done that you can actually remove uh, oh no it would, it would only remove debuffs not buffs so never mind hmm What does it take to fucking kill this guy? I'm like really dedicated to fucking killing that piece of shit. Maybe at the expense of too much here, but whatever. That guy dies. Uh, we just need to... That's an annoying fight. But we got it done. Just taking it because it's a zero cost. Alright, remove you. Remove you. Uh, let's see if we can get a Pyre Stone housing first. Combustible wax. That's kind of not needed, is it? Could take that. Pretty bad artifacts, but whatever. Alright. Get rid of at least one of these. Um, I can keep one of them, I guess. Don't. As long as it's the only random discard, then that's fine. And then I guess it's just removals from here on out. Let's just remove the uh, stuff that isn't as good, I guess. Should be a pretty easy win, honestly. Alright, let's get it done here. We could go to 150, I guess. Um, just to maybe get blank pages or something. I think we'll be sapping the shit out of this guy, so I'm not really too worried about him. I think we can still do this. Might lose one guy, but whatever. Nope, not even gonna. Here. I'll, I'll just find the thing eventually there.
pretty easy fight. I actually am running out of a uh, frostbite back here, so we'll remedy that. <laughs> Tough one. What was uh, Sketches up against? I have to imagine nobody took Sketches. Because this run kind of just plays itself with Sketches. You know, we didn't even have to deal with... Uh, let's see, 10 by 2 will be fine there. How the fuck is this guy not dying? 17 shards. Can somebody explain that one to me? It can't gain one shard. Two frostbite per shard. In what world is this guy surviving at 20 health? He should be getting so many shard, uh, frostbites. What the fuck? I am so f fucked upedly confused here. Like, you have 41 frostbite. Seriously, can someone explain it? Am I missing something here? There was no harvest unit, right? Oh, you know what? It happens at the end of the turn. That's what it is. Mystery has been solved. The mystery has been solved. I'm going to hit you one more time because I do kind of need it here. Seventy for us, but it'll do the will do the job. Indeed. silence, so that's good. Alright. That was a fun one. I always like being able to use uh, sketches. But you know me, I'm a sketches guy. 
I am a firm believer that every seed that it's offered ring one, you can actually make it work, even if it's not a good combo like this. But this has the advantage of also being like a really good combo for it. Think about all the hits. It's like any of the sirens, any of the rares for either clan, any of the harvest units, paraffin enforcer, all of these are good hits, you know? All of them are going to work. You're basically, you have to massively low roll for sketches to not be positive here. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, and then it, this was just really strong. Honestly, though, like, the guard into the Nameless Siren would have been fine, too. It would have been just a little less strong, but the same concept would apply. And I would have had to make one less remover for what that's worth. Um, but yeah, obviously the Lodestone Totem is super fun. And, uh, you know, so we mainly skipped cards because it's like, if it's not a good incant card, I'm not adding it. I don't need it. And then obviously we didn't need to force value out of the Waxer Snuffer when we already have so much value here. I don't know why the music just randomly stopped, but I will get it going again. Alright, let's see what everyone else did. Drop Cage, that was the thing that it was up against. I mean, t it, it, Drop Cage is just okay. I mean, it has hits on Dripfall and it has hits on uh, Siren Song, but like, I don't know, to me, to me, I, I think Sketches is, has the better everything here than compared to Drop Cage, because, you know, there's only two cards that Drop Cage does anything with in this combo. Um, but, you know, if I go to, uh, let's see, if I open up the units here for both these clans, it's like Stygian, you know, if we're thinking, uh, banner units, uh, don't care too much about the sweepers, um, but, you know, Guard of the Unnamed is, has okay as an essence, uh, but really you're looking at the Nameless Siren, uh, the Siren of the Sea, Eogorgon, Lodestone Totem. Those are really good hits. Uh, but other, other things work too. You know, I, I, I can make a Titan Sentry work with sketches, considering Dripfall works, right? You know, if, if, you're, if you're looking for Dripfall anyway with Drop Cage, you know, it kind of is good as well. So you can also think of it that way. Like, if you're going to hit Dripfall, it's still, like, equally good with the cages in a way. Especially with the, the cold channel, like you saw we do there. We can just bring it behind everybody. And uh, if, as long as we get a ping, it can do a bunch of damage there. And then for Melting Remnant, you have... Um, well, we're not going to say Bounty Stalker, but technically that would be fine. You would just give it one burnout and the sketches just gets them out immediately. That's pretty good. But, uh, you know, really, realistically, you're looking at Paraffin Enforcer... And Wickless Baron and Big Sludge. Those are going to be really good hits. So, you know, each clan has about three main targets. Um, two at the Uncommon and, and other, like, semi-good hits. To me, that's much more likely than getting a Dripfall or a uh, Siren Song. And even then, I don't know that it's... I don't know that Drop Cage is that good with Siren Song. It still makes it so you kind of have to get double stick if you want to play it in the end game. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty adamant that, especially in a combo like this, take the, the sketches. Not that this seed would be unwinnable without it, right? We At the end of the day, you do have a pretty early Nameless Siren as multi-strike and this incant armor. Looks like you went with the Lodestone Totem, but just think how much stronger this would be with uh, sketches, right? I would say, though, uh, if you go this route, probably need an Ember upgrade. Oh, never mind. He has Abandoned Stave. So that's fine. Yeah. Abandoned Stave is fine here. So actually, this this looks like it still should be pretty good. I mean, it's got the Nameless Siren. It's got the Endless Titan Sentry as well. So what went wrong? I don't know about this uh, Wax and Spike. That doesn't seem worth... 
I guess if you got the workless recruitment and all this other stuff, it's fine. I also don't think you need the crushing demise. I mean, if you have a double siren here, I mean, really, you should be going for three, in my opinion. Uh, take a pip upgrade as a final upgrade. I do think you probably should go three. But all that being said, uh, I think there are some wasted cards here. What I see is like, you know, only two of these is is okay. It's not good enough in my opinion. I think you need three. Um, but also like, we still got four forgotten powers, and the two Titan Scrats, and now you also have a drain. So that's a lot of discard. Um, and there's just not like, and you can't play Crushing Demise on your floor. You got the Titan Sentry that kills your draw here and there. I hate to say it, but I think I would remove the Sentry too. When you have Lodestone Totem, you really just want to go all in on that, in my opinion. You don't really need a Titan Sentry at that point. It still would have been okay, I guess, against Penitent, but... I don't know. Um, yeah, I think probably a lack of removals and probably adding cards that don't necessarily help your incant game plan is my what I'm thinking here. Because you made it to the boss, but couldn't kill the boss. Also, the Spikes trial is pretty iffy. As we said, that's kind of hard to incant that much. So, yeah, kind of all of that together. They definitely took a different route here, though. You can see they got a bunch of artifacts. I don't think any of them particularly do much, though, to be honest. Token of the Traitor. What was that taking over? I don't think I would take Token of the Traitor either. It's like a non... It's like a non-artifact. Doesn't really do anything. Early game, I guess it's okay, but... Not that this did anything for us, but I think, you know, just the upside there would have been nice. You know, you could have done some pretty crazy stuff with uh, Waxer Sniffer compared to Token of the Traitor. And then, kind of the same stuff. Okay, it was self-infused into him explosive with the Waxer Sniffer, which is technically pretty good. Um... What with the excavated ember? Yeah, see, this is a much different route. So, I don't think. Yeah, I just. I, I think you kind of got to go in harder on this entombed explosive. Um. I guess one of the Hellvents was dedicated to self-infusing it, but there's another Hellvent directly after that that this should have been Hellvented at, I would say. You know, having two of these is infinitely better than having one. You still have the problem of uh, Relentless, though, and with how kind of not good of an incant deck this is, then you have a problem there. I also don't know that you need Crushing Demise when you already have the Entombed Explosive. Especially if you had gone with two of them. Yeah, th this one looks a little more dire than the last. Like, this this one seems like it could probably, honestly, have still probably... You know, all things considered, probably could have got past the Penitent had they not taken the Spikes trial, maybe. Uh, and then it probably would have won. This one, I don't think, would have won. I, I, I just don't see how they're w winning Relentless. You know, the Entombed Explosive is going to be great for the clearing out of waves, but I just don't see how you're, you're winning Relentless, unfortunately. Would have had... I mean, maybe if you had three of these, you could do enough damage, but even then, I'm like, I, I, I don't foresee beating Divinity there. So this one was probably a bit doomed just from the game plan. Let's like... That, that, this is the problem. Um, you either you really should have went with uh, the remnant side. Um, you know, if you if you're taking the explosive, which I believe was at the first ring, and then you get endless at the first ring. 
Um, maybe they didn't. I don't know. But I'm I'm just thinking like they could have had a big sledge, and that would have been okay. You could be putting two to three entombed explosive. Maybe take a pip upgrade eventually. You know, t- two two to three of these waxer snuffer enhanced self infused entombed explosives exploding in front of a uh, a uh, big sludge. Now you're now you're talking about the damage that might be able to get you killing Relentless. But with the Nameless Siren, you're just not going to incant enough. Yeah, you're caught, you're caught between a rock and a hard place here. And that's why this combo... I typically don't like it, by the way, because the clans don't really synergize with each other. You either... You either need to go pretty much all in on incant or all in on like harvest or reform or something or burnout extension, right? You can't really go both. And you really got a hard commit to one or the other. We ended up going incant. You know, if you look back at our deck, not a whole lot of warm, uh, not, not a whole lot of melting remnant going on. You know, we have the burnout extension uh, just because it's zero costed, really. And then, yeah, I use this as a heal. But we don't, you know, the burnout is not a positive for us. It's, we're working around the burnout. And then the drip fall is just a utility card that doesn't really, s- there's nothing unique to, um, it just happens to be in Melting Remnant. You know what I mean? Like, drip fall could have been in any clan. It just happens to be in Melting Remnant. So, you know, I have that card, but it, it's not really a, re- a remnant game plan, I would say. And everything else is really just an incant deck. So, but yeah, I've probably rambled too long here rambling rod anyway as always thanks for watching and until next time peace